Dave again here with another question on topic 7.1. We're looking at half-life. Uh, we have a graph that shows the variation with time of the size of a sample of argon-39. And we see that the size of the sample is, is reducing. The number of atoms of argon-13 remaining over time is dropping. Uh, and we want to use this information to find the half-life of argon-39 and explain our reasoning. Well, the half-life is the amount of time that it takes for half of the sample to decay. So if we start with 1,600 atoms, we're going to want to find out how much time should it take for only 800 to be remaining. Uh, if we zoom in a little bit on the scale, uh, we can see that 800 is going to be two-thirds of the way between 750, 700 and 850. So if we break this up into thirds, that's going to be 700, 750, 800, 850. So there's 800. And it takes that over to the curve and find out how much time has elapsed. Uh, reading this scale, it looks like the marking is about two-thirds of the way between two and three. So we'll call that maybe 2.7 times 10 to the 2 years. Always remember to, to check the scale. So that's the result. It takes 2.7 times 10 to the 2 years for half of the sample to decay. So the half-life then is 270 years because that's how long it takes for uh, half the sample 